Welcome guys to another episode where we are going to show you how to set this camper up. We're taking this thing to Norwalk. This is where we're going to sleep. We're going to do a quick video here. We don't want to drag this out much, but if you are new to pop-ups, we're going to give you a quick lesson on how to pop it up. We'll show you the inside of it and show you how cool this thing is. So stay tuned. It's going to be a good time. And no, I didn't do this in the first clip. I had to pull forward and back up a few times, but that's to be expected. Oh, all right, you can stop there. Is that level? About right there? I think that's good. All right. We haven't used this thing in a while. It's been, uh, I believe, since Norwalk last year. If you don't believe me, just ask the tall grass. I've been sitting around it for a year. <laughs> Let me grab a brick. We're going to get this thing cranked up. We'll get this thing popped up and show you what it's all about. All right, the first thing you got to do when you're setting one of these up, you're going to want to get your legs down. And by doing, the way you do that is you pull, <laughs> you just pull, oh, yeah, you just pull them. Mm. Holy, there we go. Whew. You just pull them with everything you got. Press that button, they fall down, and then we'll show you how you tighten those up later. You'd put a bar in there and whatnot. I'm gonna do the other side. Ugh. Same thing back here, I'm gonna drop these down. Oh boy, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna leave the back ones up. You don't always have to have them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the step. You gotta pop these off, just slick as can be. You just pop them down. There's one on each four corners. Looks like we got the other ones already done. Next thing we gotta do, these are run on cables. The cables run to this. We're gonna put this crank in here. And when we start turning, if all goes right, this thing should start lifting up. Now I hear it clicking. Now normally I would, you know, get the boys out here to crank this up for me, but nobody's home. Side here, there's a little cable. This tells you when you're high enough. We are not there yet. We're getting close though. It's supposed to be attached in here, but one day we cranked it up and our cable went like that and I never reattached it. Now I can see in here where it used to be. We're right there in the ballpark. Next, we gotta slide this out. We're gonna put you guys on a tripod so Trace can help. First thing we're gonna do guys, we gotta get this out. We gotta slide it out, we gotta put the bars in it. Remember how this goes, hon? Yep. We always store our bars under the mattress. People put them in various places. We always try to put ours in the same spot. And they just slide in these little holes down there. And they slide into the board. All right. Just one on each side. It's easier with two people. You can do it by yourself, I've done it. But, uh. It's much easier if you have an higher. extra person. Okay. All right, just pull the canvas over like so. Then there's these things right here. They have a little rope on them. They have little connectors underneath there. You just wrap those around. And it's got this extra stuff right here. You want to make sure, pull that around this corner. Helps protect the corner of the canvas. This one's already got a small tear there. It's not really going to bother anything. You want to do the same thing with this side. One side out. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Do the ropes underneath. And out here, you got these, it's just Velcros. 
you pull it out like this and it covers your rail it's more cosmetic than anything well, let's bring you in i'll show you what's going on in here hopefully it's bright enough to see there's a bar that runs through there to the back it's fairly simple we got a little roof trouble over here oh looks like we got a little we've had a little bit of water issue we might have to address that before we go to norwalk and this side's the same thing there's the bar there you just put the bar right down in this bar catch it just right it's got a little groove there that it goes in you just press it up then you press and hook in the ceiling this flips up and our door has to come down it uh, stores in the ceiling you turn these two things here like so that lets your door down you drop it like this and you gotta come up it fits in these two little grooves right here you have to shut this door first line it up line it up then it also latches here and i think our cables might be a little out of adjustment because if you look here our door is tall and it shouldn't be technically and it's tighter over here now you're supposed to be able to push this down right here it's got this thing you're supposed to push it down like that and turn this but ours just from being old and the wear on it it's getting pretty weak so we don't worry about that too much but anyway we are gonna have to adjust these cables a little bit because this side of our door is not touching anything so we'll have to do something there basically to set the door up though normally just uh velcro here get the back side velcroed all good and you're gonna do the same to the front just uh give her a little gotta give her a little stretch <laughs> once you get her stretched just right and up on the top you see we're not reaching real good i think uh we're a little off we'll have to make some adjustments but you get the idea same thing with this side you pull this out you put it on there normally that would be clamped in a little tighter there but it doesn't really hurt anything that it's out and that is the basics right there and if the door latches you've done it right i mean if it latches you're probably close enough you can see ours is still a little high right here if you look in there i mean the velcro is holding it but it's still up a little high so we may adjust our cables and just bring that down it should be right about there we also are going to have to address our roof has a little bit of an issue in here that uh oh yeah the canvas is starting to fall it's been getting bad for a while i've been meaning to redo this roof we may do a video on it i mean we're gonna to have to use it for norwalk now we'll probably cut some of this out and just uh make it usable but i think i'll do a video on redoing this roof if you'd like to see a video on redoing a roof on one of these throw it down in the comments because I need to do it anyway. And uh, if people want to see it, I'll film it. If they don't, then maybe we'll just do it and you know, not worry about filming it. Anyhow, if it's something you're interested in, throw it in the comments. That's the basic setup of it. Now this one, we can give you a rundown of what it has. We got a sink. We don't have it you know, hooked up now. If you had a regular campground, Norwalk doesn't provide water. And this doesn't have its own water tank. But if you had a regular campground, you, uh, you can actually hook it up to water which is nice it's got a fridge down here now the cool thing on this fridge is it will run this fridge will run on uh, electric or propane which is nice because we have a propane tank so we will get this fridge fired up also it's very cool that it does that electric or propane stuff i like that and then we got a lot of you know it's got a lot of uh places you can put stuff we got all our silverware and we just leave a lot of it in here paper plates whatnot and that i guess is not a drawer so you know it's got a little table here there's actually a dinette and there's a grill that goes outside this folds up into a table got some cleaning to do we got to address this roof thing and i may video some of that and just throw it in this video but i kind of just wanted to give you a quick overview of uh the camper and what it takes to set one up they're not difficult guys they're really not hard to set up 
and it beats sleeping in a tent in my personal opinion because not that I mind a tent, I've done it for years, but sometimes it's nice to just uh, have a regular, somewhat regular bed to sleep in. Now out here, it has an outside grill. You can hook up right here. It has a gas line right here. You just pull that out. You hook your grill up. And uh, I can show you how that works. You just slide the grill in there. It's real simple. It just slides in here. It's got a little rail on the grill. It's got a rail built on the camper. Slide in like that. Let her down. Pull your gas line out. Plug her in. And then you can fire it up. Pretty simple. It's not a... I don't know if you call it a grill, I guess. Stove, it's a oven. Stove. Need cleaning. But uh, that's why we're bringing it out. So we can get everything cleaned up. It's really simple. It's convenient. It's nice to have. We've cooked breakfast on it. Lunch and dinner for that matter. Okay, so that's the basics of how to set it up. Looks like we're going to have to do some maintenance to this thing, you know, before we pop. Bob, really? Bob's in there goofing around. I don't know what he's up to. So I guess this will uh, conclude the video for now. It's just, like I said, it's just going to be a quick video. Uh, we're going to do some maintenance to it. And as we do, maybe we'll throw some videos up there if people want to see that. Just throw it there in the comments and we'll kind of show you guys as we update and redo things. And thanks for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you.